What's going on people? I just want to comment on this Baphomet statue that was installed in protest of the Ten Commandments in Arkansas. Um, it's interesting because the last two videos that I posted regarding the studs, you know, the lesbians, um, we can look forward to more than that happening in the future. Okay, just be prepared for things a lot crazier than that. Okay, that's just the results of it. It's like when a storm is coming. And it's interesting that I'm using this, this analogy, but it's like when a storm is coming. A tornado or uh, some type of uh, hurricane. You feel the winds, you know, sometimes you see the debris. Uh, where, where the winds, the high winds are blowing debris all over the place. Well, that's the way it is when we see things like the last two videos that I posted. Um, that's why we see uh, things like what's happening in politics. Um, I've never in my 57 years of living on this planet that I've seen uh, the powers of darkness so angry. You know, uh, it reminds me of that movie Golden Child with Eddie Murphy when the devil was so upset, when that demon was so upset with Eddie Murphy, he came as some type of dragon and he was just tearing stuff up, right? That's anger right there, you know? So right now, the powers of darkness is angry and it's at its... I'm not going to even say it's at its peak because I think it's going to get a lot worse than what we see happening now, uh, even just in the political realm. And say what you will, I think that what a lot of what's happening in the political spectrum, those winds are going to affect each and every one of us, not just here in this country, but globally for that matter, because you got the enemies of the United States, and I didn't mean to go here, but you got the enemies of the United States just sitting back watching what goes on here. You know, they're sitting back sipping their tea and eating popcorn, just waiting for the opportune moments. And every now and then, you may see them instigate. You know, they instigate and they will take the sides of the enemies of, say, Trump. Take the enemy, take the size of the enemies. For example, Canada. You have the Canada's president or whatever he's called. He's talking about Trump as a racist because he wants to put up borders. But yet, look at what we have to do just here in New York State to cross the border over into Canada. They're secure over there. You just can't walk over into Canada. You know, even the United States side, you have the United States side, and then you have the Canada side. You just can't walk over there, man. There's border patrols right there. You know what I mean? But yet, he's saying that Trump is a racist because he want to put up walls. But yet, Canada secure the borders, okay? But what we see that's happening, man, is going to get a lot worse, all right? And another thing that's interesting is the fact that you have all of these historical statues, man. People are protesting it, saying that it's racist, and they want all these historical statues taken down. All these Civil War statues taken down. The Confederate flag, people protest against that and were saying how racist it was. But nobody is protesting this Baphomet statue. Not a single soul. The church is not even protesting this Baphomet statue that's set up right next to the Ten Commandments. Now I understand that they're protesting and when it comes to the Bible and God, things that are related to Christianity or the Most High or the Bible, those things are under attack. Even looking at something as Easter or Christmas for that matter. 
where certain schools, the kids are not allowed to uh, celebrate Christmas. But yet no one protests against Halloween. And this time that we're living in, we're hearing more blacks, which is going to lead me to my, what I want to show you with the statue. More blacks now have converted to Satanism. A lot of it's by word, but most of it is by deeds, the things that many black Americans have taken on to themselves. Now, when you look at this statue, what, what, what's one of the things that stand out the most to you? This Baphomet statue right here, what stands out the most to you? Now we know about the goat horn creature here. Okay, we, we, we understand about the phallus here and what that symbolized. And then it's got two children. Interesting that this stuff is happening right now, even in the Catholic Church. And most of that pornography or child pornography was taken right in the church, the Catholic Church. So, and the Catholic Church or the church as a whole approve of sodomy or homosexuality. And many churches and preachers have sold out because if they refuse to perform gay marriages or if they preach against sodomy or homosexuality like the Bible teaches, then they will, they will not be able to, re to receive any federal funding. So in order to get these federal fundings, they have to not preach against homosexuality and they have to be able to accept gays and preach and, and, and also uh, perform gay marriages. So we see that within the Catholic Church, after all this stuff, these laws were set in place, now we're starting to see a lot of stuff starting to manifest itself. A lot of this child pornography and sex trafficking. You know, uh, even what's going on in California with the border. A lot of that stuff that's crossing the border, man, are not people looking for help. These are people, are enemies of the United States, the enemies of Americans, and these are people that's um, sex trafficking children, right? So there's a reason why that the powers of darkness is fighting so hard against that wall. Hence the phallus here with the two little children. Now, what stood out to me when I looked at this statue was the fact that what this, it looks like what appears to be a little white girl. And I'm looking at the body structure, the face, the facial features, and the hair. This looks like a little black boy, right? Look at the facial features. Look at the hair, it looks like an Afro, right? This looks like a little black boy. I could be wrong. But it's interesting that they have the image of a little black boy and the little white girl. And we know that they've been promoting uh, interracial relationships because they say by the year 20, was it 2020? And I could have the date wrong. The average uh, American would be biracial, basically. And I did a video of that in the past. But much of what we see is happening now, today, like those two articles or those two videos I just recently uh, posted, it's just the winds of what's coming, the debris of what's coming, all right? So those of you who are followers of, of God and as the followers of Christ, put on the whole armor of Yah that you'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? And I was just talking to a family member and I was saying that how I've never seen the powers of darkness this this angry. I mean, just look at what's going on in the political arena, man. I mean, every single day, just imagine, say if you were in Trump's position, just imagine every single day, 24 seven, you're under attack by media with lies. It's not the truth, these are lies. And then you have people that don't study, don't research, that will look at that and take that as truth. And then they will react on the lie as if it's true, right? So 
Imagine you being attacked 24-7, man, by the media. Lies every single day. Un they don't, any, nothing else matters. Nothing else is happening in this country matters. What matters the most is the fact that someone won the election and someone lost the election. A bunch of females cried and then that's when the battle started, right? So it's like 24 seven, seven days a week, man. Uh, 30 days of how many days in a month, man. 365 days in a year. It's just co continually constant attacks. And then those that believe what's being fed to them by the media is also attacking. And then the results of that, they say, okay, the media is causing a civil war. That's what's happening. It's the fault is the media and it's uh, the demon craps and those Republicans that's also against, I'll say Trump. Those are the ones that's creating this divide, this this uh, hysteria, okay, this racial tension. They're causing this because they're constantly, every day, 24 seven, feeding it out into the ethers, right? So now that we're starting to see so much anger and hatred and divide starting to take place, then now these same people that created this divide is now blaming the one that they are attacking. They're saying that he's the cause of all of this racial divide and he's the cause of the coming civil war that's soon to take place. He's the cause of this, although he had nothing to do with that. All he did was win the election, okay? That's all my topic, but this, and I'm gonna put the link on the bottom and I want you guys to check it out, but this is what was installed. And I'm gonna tell you something, Baphomet, is coming to a town near you. It's coming to your town. This is just the beginning. And it's interesting that so many people accepted that no one is fighting against this dark energy that was installed in Arkansas. No one protests or came against that, but they accepted that. But they're doing everything in their power to ban the Bible or come against the church for what the church is preaching, but yet they allow the satanic statue to be installed next to the Ten Commandments, right? And nobody's fighting against this. So much of what we talk about is just the debris of the coming storms that's going to affect mostly those that follow the Most High. It's gonna be a thing where, okay, either you are gonna get down with us, like that movie, you're gonna either get down or you're gonna get laid down, all right? So, but it's quite interesting to me that these two kids, these two children, they don't have adults here next to this phallus. They got this little phallus here and then they got this little girl and you got this little, what looks like a little black boy. I'm looking at the facial features and the afro, okay? And the, uh, the little black boy got his hands on his chest like he's pledging allegiance to the statue here. And that's what many black folks are doing now. They're pledging allegiance to Satan or Lucifer. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.